Hey guys, it's KevyDog4. Here are my picks for week 17, the last week of the NFL regular season. Um, so, New England versus Miami, all these games this week are being played on Sunday, and they're all between two members of a division. So every game is a division game this week. Um, the first game is New England versus Miami. My pick is New England because they're going for the number one seed. If they win, they'll get it. Um, the Dolphins are going to be a wild card spot in a wild card spot. So both teams are already in this, and New England has been outstanding this season. If they win this game, they'll have the best record in the NFL. I think New England's going to get it. The next game is Jacksonville versus Indianapolis. I'm picking the Colts. Um, Jacksonville did win against the Titans last week, who are higher in the division than the Colts are. But who knows, that could just be a one-week thing, or maybe Jacksonville will come out on top again this week. But to me, the Colts, they're higher up in the division, and um, I think that they'll end up winning. They're, they're healthy. They, they don't have um, a backup quarterback in, like, Tennessee did. They had a backup quarterback in due to Marcus Mariota's injury. So I think the Colts are going to win this last week. Um Panthers versus Buccaneers. I'm taking the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers are fighting for a playoff spot. They're probably not going to get it because they need lots of scenarios to get in, including a tie between the Giants and the Redskins. Um, so I'm taking the Buccaneers anyways because they've, they've had a really good season. They're If they win, they will have a winning record for the first time in several years. Um, and I, I think that the Buccaneers really are a better team than the Panthers are this year. So I'm taking the Buccaneers. Bears and Vikings, I'm taking the Vikings. They're at home. Last game of the season for both teams. The Bears did do pretty well a few weeks ago. They they did win a game, and they hung in with a couple of pretty good teams. But um, I think that the Vikings, being at home and being the last week and everything, um, I don't think the Bears are going to take this game. I think it's going to be the Vikings. Um, Steelers-Browns. Um, I'm taking the Steelers because, obviously, the Browns have only won one game all season. It's crazy that they won the one last week. Um, I've heard that Big Ben might be resting today, or not today, this week. I've heard that he might be resting, so we'll see what happens um, if he plays or if it's Landry Jones starting. Um, but I still think Pittsburgh should be able to win this game at home, no matter what, against a Cleveland Browns team, who is going to probably have the number one draft pick. Bills-Jets, I'm taking the Bills. The Jets have looked really, really bad this year. Um, Buffalo did fire Rex Ryan and Rob Ryan this week, though, so we'll see what happens, see if that affects the team at all. Um, and Tyrod Taylor supposedly um, may not be starting this week either. They might be using their second quarterback, e, um, EJ Manuel, I think. Um, so Buffalo, I'm taking Buffalo still. Um, Cowboys-Eagles, I'm taking dallas uh, also, if they win, they'll have the best record in the NFL. New England and Dallas can tie for the best record. 14-2 and two would be their final record if both teams were to win. Um, Philadelphia has been out of this for weeks. Dallas is going to start Dak Prescott this week, but um, Ezekiel Elliott is supposed to get limited um, snaps, or not snaps, but he's supposed to be in limited minutes, maybe only a couple drives if he plays at all. Um and Tony Romo and Mark Sanchez are both supposed to play. We'll see who gets the most minutes out of the three quarterbacks, um, Prescott, Sanchez, or Romo. But every quarterback's supposed to get in. I still think they're going to win because I think that they're going to probably give more snaps to either Romo or Prescott than they would for Sanchez because they want to have reps for their top two quarterbacks. But anything can happen, so we'll see um, that I'm taking Dallas. Um Texans, Titans. I'm taking Houston because um, Marcus Mariota is out for the season. He has a fractured fibula. Um, Savage is going to be starting for the um, Texans this week. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, but I think they're going to win this game, and they are in the playoffs for sure. So going into this, um, I think that they're going to be fine. So I'm taking Houston. Baltimore versus Cincinnati. I'm taking the Ravens. The Ravens barely missed out on a playoff spot. Um, they lost the division to the Steelers, and they they didn't have enough wins to get into the wild card, so there's there's no chance for Baltimore to be in. The AFC's really already set. Um, Cincinnati has had a pretty bad season, um, especially compared to 
how they do normally. They're usually a, either a wild card team or a division winner. Um, that usually goes out in the first round of the playoffs, but they're not even in it this time. So we'll see what happens here. I'm taking Baltimore to win this game. Kansas City versus San Diego. I'm taking the Chiefs because they're fighting for a first round bye. They're either going to be a number two or a five seed. The other, the other team will be Oakland. So depending on if Kansas City wins and um, how Oakland does, they'll either be two or five, and Oakland will get the other. Um, San Diego lost to the Browns last week. They are the only team to have lost to the Browns this year. San Diego is not strong this year. Um, I'm taking Kansas City because they have been a team that has been really, really strong, but it's been quietly. Um, I'm taking I'm taking Kansas City to win this game for sure. Oakland versus Denver. Even though Derek Carr is out, I'm still I still think that this team really is not all about Derek Carr. There's lots of other really good players on the team. I think McGloin, um going in there, he, he's not going to be the same as Derek Carr, but I think that they'll be okay. The only thing, excuse me, the only thing they have to worry about is Denver's defense is good and they're playing at home, so we'll see, but I'm, I still think that Oakland can win this, and if they do, they should have that first round bye locked up, but if they don't, and if Kansas City beats um San Diego, like I said, they could drop to number five. Um, but I don't think that there should be a big problem with Oakland, um, and I think that they can still win. So Oakland is my pick. Seattle versus San Francisco. I'm taking Seattle because San Francisco could get that first draft pick if the Browns somehow beat Pittsburgh today or this week, and if San Francisco lost um, and Seattle... They are coming off of a loss against Arizona at home, but I think anyone should be able to bounce back against San Francisco, so I'm going to take Seattle. Arizona versus Los Angeles. I'm taking the Cardinals because the Rams did not have a very good season with Jeff Fisher at their coach as their coach, but as soon as he was fired, everything got ten times worse and I don't think that they necessarily should have fired Jeff Fisher. There are lots of personnel problems on the team. Um, sorry, excuse me. Um, but Arizona did come off of the win in Seattle. Not very many people do go in and win against Seattle. Um, but I think that Arizona should get through this easy. Um, so I'm taking Arizona over Los Angeles. New Orleans versus Atlanta. I'm taking Atlanta. Um, they're at home. They are going for a first round bye that they really, really could get. It's been really quiet, but this team is so close to having that number two seed, and I think it could easily happen. New Orleans does put up a lot of points, though, so Atlanta's going to have to do a lot of scoring to win this game. Um, but I still think they can do it, so I'm going to take Atlanta. Giants versus Redskins. I'm taking the Giants. Um, the Redskins are at home, and the Redskins, if they win, they they should be in a playoff spot. But the Giants are the second best team in the NFC based on record, and that's in the division with the Redskins, who are fighting for a playoff spot, and the Eagles and the Cowboys. So the Giants, to me, are just a really good team to have that good of a record against such a competitive division. Um, I think that the Giants should come out of here with a win, and Washington is likely going to be eliminated. Um, but they did have a good season, so I'm I'm still going to take the Giants. Um, Green Bay versus Detroit. I'm taking Detroit because they're at home. This team's going to be, or this game's going to be even really evenly matched, I think. But Detroit, to me, the home field advantage I think could really give them this division win. This this game decides who gets the division. Um. Um. Green Bay, however, has been on a huge winning streak. I think they've won five or six in a row now. Um, and Detroit did lose in Dallas last week by 21 points, and I can't remember what happened the week before, but I think Detroit really can bounce back at home, and I think that they're going to want this division. I think they can get it, so I'm going to take Detroit. So that's the last game. So there are my picks for this last week. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, also subscribe to my channel for more NFL videos and NBA videos, and eventually, hopefully, MLB videos once there gets to be more action when the season likely 
probably likely when the season starts, maybe I'll do some off-season stuff, but, um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.